unfortunately, we're not all in a position where we can afford a house in Greater Boston and pay with cash with no contingencies. But if you're like me or most of the buyers out there, there are ways you can improve an offer to purchase a home uh, while mitigating some of that risk and improve your chances of getting that offer accepted. Uh, the first would be an easy one to tighten up dates. You know, standard home inspection time frame is 10 days, give or take, but tightening that up to seven, getting a home inspector quickly, showing the seller that you're serious about that process definitely helps. Uh, also, closing and financing dates. It might put a little more pressure on your team members, such as your lender or your attorney, but uh, these are all ways to increase the chances of your offer getting accepted. Uh, the second would be to waive the home inspection. I don't recommend this for everybody, and especially not first-time home buyers. But if you're a contractor or investor and planning on gut rehabbing a home anyways or doing a ton of work yourself or contracting that out, uh, that might be one. For those who can't afford that kind of risk, there's a whole putting in a threshold to that offer saying, uh, you know, we're going to do a home inspection, but if only come back and talk to you guys about, you know, reducing the price or getting a credit at closing if it's over X amount of dollars. Uh, I've seen amounts like uh, 2500 5000 10000 and even up to 20000 This shows the seller, hey, you know, we're, we're going to have a home inspection, but we're realistic about what your home needs and what it doesn't need, and we want to make this as smooth as possible. Uh, you know, the next one, as we get increasingly more risky uh, for the buyer, is waiving the financing contingency. Now, that just entails not having a cash offer, but saying, I'm guaranteeing you I'm getting a loan. If not, you're going to keep my deposit at the purchase and sales agreement that I provide you. It can be extremely risky. However, uh, if you're using a smaller bank, if you have a good connection to that lender or bank, they can basically guarantee you the loan before you apply for it. They're going to tell you and be upfront with you. Not recommended for everyone because it is risky, but we've also seen that happen in multiple cases. Uh, and lastly, the dreaded escalation clause. Some of you may have experienced that or even been competing with an escalation clause, but essentially that's saying, whatever the highest offer is, I'm going to pay X amount over that or one, as little as $1 over that uh, over the next best highest offer. Bonafide, that needs to be in there too to make sure you actually have an offer in place so you're not bidding against yourself. Um, I've seen caps and limits to an escalation clause. So in other words, I will pay you X amount of dollars over, at, over the next best bona fide offer until X amount of dollars. So in other words, you're preventing yourself from going up to ranges you simply don't have. So all these are ways to improve the chances of getting your offer accepted, varying in risk, but all they've all been stuff we've used uh, to help our clients get their homes that they want to purchase.